In this video, I want to show you how you can generate placeholders using Microsoft Word and Excel. Well, why would you need to generate placeholder sheets? Sometimes you're working with paper department who needs placeholders to be placed um, maybe in a scan job, maybe they're doing a print job and they need placeholders generated. Maybe you want to put something in your production. That's uh, going to be less likely of a scenario. Um, but there's still plenty of situations where you could need to take an Excel file um, using fields from it and generate a placeholder where each row over an Excel goes onto a, its own page in Word. What I have here is an Excel file or a, basically I open up a DAT file in Excel. So let's, um, let's take all this data and turn it into placeholder pages we could use for something else. I'm going to copy all the columns and I will paste them into Microsoft Word. Here I'm going to get a table. A uh, table I actually do not want. What I'll say is uh, convert to text and I'm going to use not a tab but some kind of um, I'll use a pipe character. Right? I'm going to say OK and now I have all the text delimited by, delimited by a pipe. So now I can do some search and replacing to turn this into placeholder pages. I'm going to press Control H and I'm going to change all the new lines to page breaks. All right, so let's do that. And now we'll see we have every row on a separate line. So if I scroll down, you see how every row of Excel got into a separate page. So I'm going to press Control H again and I'm going to replace pipe to new line. And now what we have is basically like a placeholder page. So we can make fonts bigger, um, you know, we can play around with this, maybe move it down and so on. Um, but this doesn't look good. We need, um, we really need field names so we know what fields we, uh, we're using here. So let's control A and delete all this. Let's go back to Excel. And in order to have field names, we're going to need to do a little bit more search and replacing. I'm going to insert some columns and I'm going to take a header row, paste that in the column and push it all the way down. So we have our back doc, I'm going to insert here and here I'm going to insert two columns and you will see this will make sense. I'm going to push it all the way down, insert from, yes this is um, a little bit of a kind of bad way of doing it but we'll get to an even better way shortly. Going to apply it down. Okay, and when you double click on this uh, box on the bottom right, you want to just scroll down and double check to make sure all the values got pushed all the way to the bottom. Because if you have a blank entry in one of the cells, it'll stop. It'll stop there. All right, so let's grab all this. We don't need header because we already uh, pushed it down for every every row. So we'll switch to Word. We'll paste, and it's going to look like a mess, but that is okay. We're going to click in here, go to layout, convert to text, we'll use pipe. All right, and let's see if we can do some clever search and replacing to make this look nice. First, just like before, we're going to replace our new line to a new page. Then we will take two pipes and we will convert them to a new line. And now, as you guessed that we'll take one pipe and convert it to column space. And there you go. Now we can do the same as before. We can um, play around with fonts, sizes, and so on. Now we have our placeholder pages generated. Um, but again, this was kind of a tedious way of doing it. Let's use mail merge. Go into control A and clear everything out. So I'm going to go to mailings, but before I start playing around in here, 
I'm going to switch back to Excel and I'm going to close it. We don't want to have this Excel file open while we pull in data from it. So let me close it. I'm going to say no to changes. And again, we want to make sure uh, this Excel file is in the good shape, all the data is correct. And we have, um, and we have good header line header rows, right? So we we'll make sure this is populated properly. All right, so let's close it. Go to mail merge, we're going to select recipients, and we're going to choose existing list. And once we click here, we're going to browse to our Excel file. And we're going to point to that as our data source. Going to click on open. And it's going to ask me which sheet do you want to use as your data source, and I'm going to say placeholder, I'm going to click OK. And seems like nothing changed. But we have all these controls that just got enabled. So what we can do is we can now insert our fields from Excel. All right, let's do that. Bag doc, col column space. And now we can insert bag doc. Uh -huh. And doc. And and from to date and subject. All right, so now we can insert this here. And now we can actually play with formatting here. So let's make uh, let's make everything bigger. And let's make these bold. And now we can move it down if we want to. Um, but let's actually run it. So we're going to go to finish and merge. And we can say edit individual documents. And now it's going to say do you want to do all now if you have a lot of records, uh, you may not want to do all maybe you want to say, ah, oh, let's let's just do first five just to see how it's going to look because if you got 10,000 records, you're just going to let it run and it's going to you just wasting time and you really want to just do a few preview make sure it's good and then run everything. Well, in my case, I'm confident this is all good. So I'm going to say all and I'm going to click OK. And now we have our placeholders generated. There they are. And what's more important, we have a template for mail merge. So now if we want to reuse it, we can just use a different Excel and keep all the same formatting and generate exactly the same placeholders again if we need to. All right, that's how you create placeholders using search and replace or mail merge. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out my website hashtaglegal.com which has lots of valuable tools I create for relativity as well as law. Feel free to share this video with your co-workers if you feel they can benefit from information provided. Subscribe to stay up to date with videos as they're being released. Click bell to be notified as soon as videos come out and don't be afraid to suggest ideas for other videos in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.